definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how you been? Oh, good, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How have I been? Yeah, how you been? I'm turned up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm turned up. Because I'm with yo, 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 you know, you know, no, no, no. You know what, though? What? I got to share that other 50% with my family. You know what you producer, platinum and producer yeah, yeah. extraordinaire. Felony goddamn music. I oh. said it. Felony goddamn music. Hey. It's serious. And don't forget. Hold up. He did the whole forget. Remington steal. But you forgot one thing. What? I'm the president of the Beat Abuse Foundation of America. Oh! Whoa. Hold up. Can I get one, my brother? No, you got to get, get your own. <laughs> <laughs> Hustle TV, it's official, baby. Come on. All hip hop, it's official, baby. All hip hop. Yo, interview him. Sell it. Yeah. What up? What up? We're coming to the mixtape, baby. Yeah. You, I know you was tweaking, you twerking the beats, and you made it all slap. <laughs> How long did it take you to get all the beats together? Um. Honestly, we knocked this mixtape out in about a week. What? About a week. It ain't take long. A week. A week. A week. Like, once the first one was done, everything just kept coming. Now, when it comes to producing, who inspired you to become a producer that you, that you are now? Um, I'm going to tell you a funny story. Okay. I became a producer by default. <laughs> I was a rapper. Yeah. Had a group, couldn't find nobody made beats, so I started making myself. The reason why I ended up with know how to play because my pop used to have guitars and keyboards and shit all around the house. Right. Oh, so can I cuss on here? You are yes. Oh, well, I love this guitar. <laughs> anyway, every time he go to work, he'd be like, don't touch my shit. <laughs> so as soon as he go off from work, I touch his shit. Next thing I know, and I realize I done taught myself how to play. What? Yeah. So fast forward, was a rapper, whatever, start making beats and stuff. And next thing you know, just got better and better. But as far as uh, who inspired me to make beats, I would first say my pops. Then two, once I really got into it, then that's when you get into the premieres, Pete Rocks, and um, Dr. Dre, and um, Larry Smith. I know that's a weird name for me to throw out, but... No, that's cool. All you producers out there, now, if you don't know who Larry Smith is, then you don't need to be doing what you're doing. Because he's the reason a lot of y'all hip-hop producers, including myself, is doing what we're doing now. That's what it is, man. Thank you, man, for all your time, man. Give out your Twitter, your Instagram handles, all that stuff, man. Everything is felony music. That's spelled M-U-Z-I-K. Hey, look out. He is a felon, and he has music. And fix your face. He's a felon, and he does music. For real, he just got out last week. Yeah. <laughs> I do it, man. <laughs> man, I'm so proud of you, man. Thank you, man. I'm proud of you. It's so hard, dude. Hey, look, look, look. They fucking with it? I hope they fucking with it. No, 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 hang on, hold I saw TV crack that Remington still first. Hold on, let me put this on TV, man. My favorite station, Hustle TV. They crack Remington still first. When we start dishing out them plaques, I'm giving one to my dude. Very 100, very 1 million, billion times. Hustle TV. Hustle TV.